The glass shells of diatoms are ornamented with detailed patterns. These patterns are very useful in identifying the different species of diatoms. However, the patterns of the glass shells of living diatoms are not easily visible. Also, the presence of an excess of debris in the sample makes observation difficult. And now we will demonstrate how to prepare a slide. This process will allow us to easily observe the patterns of the glass shells of diatoms. We will first demonstrate the cleaning process using the collected diatom sample. Using a pipette, we take a sample from the bottom of the vial. Next, we place this sample into a centrifuge tube. Once the diatoms have settled to the bottom of the tube, the supernatant is removed. To the tube, two to three times the amount of the diatom sample of commercial drain cleaning product is added. Then, using a pipette, the mixture is gently mixed. When mixing, be careful not to splash any of the mixture outside of the tube. Next, we wait approximately 20 minutes. It is highly recommendable to mix the mixture twice during this time. After waiting 20 minutes, the mixture is diluted using distilled water. The amount of liquid in the two centrifuge tubes is made equal with the addition of the water. Next, the tubes are placed in a centrifuge. Here the diatoms are precipitated from the mixture. Both motorized and manual centrifuges are appropriate to use. After centrifugation, the supernatant is decanted. Even if the tubes are completely flipped over, the diatoms will not leave the tube with the decanted liquid because they adhere to the tube. The dilution process is repeated at least three times. This process is necessary for removing the drain cleaning product. If this product is not removed, good slides cannot be prepared. When comparing the cleaned diatoms to the original sample, you can see that the cleaned diatoms have become white. Next, we will demonstrate the preparation of slides. To the cleaned diatom sample, add distilled water until the mixture becomes foggy. This is done to dilute the sample. A high concentration of diatoms makes observation difficult. This mixture is heated to make the slides. First, place a ceramic tile on an electric heater. On the tile, place a cover slip. Then, place several drops of the diluted solution on the cover slip. The ceramic tile is then heated until the liquid on the cover slip evaporates. After the liquid has evaporated, wait another minute to turn off the heat. Then carefully remove the cover slip from the tile and place the cover slip onto the slide facing down. Once tape is placed to set the cover slip on the slide, preparation of the slide is complete. This method of slide preparation creates temporary slides. There is also another way to prepare the slides that produces permanent slides. First, about one drop of Plurax, a mount medium, is placed on the slide. Then a cover slip on which the diatom solution has already been evaporated is placed face down on the Plurax. The slide is then gently heated on the ceramic tile. This allows for the evaporation of the alcohol present in the Plurax. At first, many bubbles are formed, but as the alcohol evaporates, fewer are formed. Once this happens, the slide is removed from the tile and forceps are used 
to gently press down the cover slip on the slide and remove any air bubbles. The Plurax hardens very quickly, so this must be done promptly. After several minutes, the Plurax is completely hardened and the slide preparation process is complete. Whichever method is used, detailed observation of diatoms is made possible.